हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम कनिश तेवतिया बी टेक फ्रॉम एन आई टी क्षेत्र एंड मास्टर्स फ्रॉम कैनेडा टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट दिस क्वेश्चन दैट इज बीन आस्ट इन आई आई टी जे मेन्स बिफोर सो इट्स नॉट अ पर्टिकुलरली डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन इज जस्ट दैट इट हैज सम पिट फॉल्स दैट यू कैन स्टम्बल ऑन एंड वेस्ट योर टाइम इन द एग्जाम और मे बी एंड अप सॉल्विंग ए ह्यूज क्वारिटिक इक्वेशन दैट यू अदरवाइज डोंट नीड टू सो uh also on youtube i see some creators solving it the in the long way using calculators uh and taking like 10 minutes on this question uh but in the exam you don't have that much time in the exam you only have 2 or 3 minutes and you have to uh, quickly solve the question and move on from there so let's see how they have solved this question and before i get to the uh, optimal solution i will uh, show you the bad solutions uh, so called bad solutions uh, so you get an idea of how to approach the problems you face in the future because to in order to solve the numericals why we are solving the numericals to clear it is to clear our concepts so that we can solve or any type of question in the exam it is not to get to the answer straight away so let's start uh, ball is dropped from the top of a 100 meter high tower and in the last half second before hitting the ground it travels 19 meters that's all that is given to us and we are asked to find the acceleration due to gravity because this is not on earth this is some other planet so i have drawn this diagram here to visualize the question let's assume the total time it uh, takes to fall to the ground just before it hits the ground the total time is capital t so in t minus half it's uh, Uh, in the last half second it travels 19 meters so in t minus half it travels 81 meters so now you are tempted to apply this equation s equal to ut plus 1 by 2 gt square because u is 0 uh, we get s equal to 1 by 2 g into t square now you can easily see that we can get two equations like this with two variables from here one is a uh, 100 equals 1 by 2 g into capital t square and the other one is 81 equals 1 by 2 into g into t minus 1 by 2 whole square so right from looking at 100 and 81 you should get a hint on what should what you should be trying to do but let's see wha- what the confusing way is so simply you, we have two equations here with two unknowns g and t so you what most people would try to do is just find the value of g from here or here substitute in the other equation and then try to solve it that way but as you can see in other videos that that approach is going to leave you with te- uh, a lot of uh calculation on your hands and it will take a lot of time another thing that you are tempted to do here is use the formula s nth which is equal to u plus a into t minus 1 by 2 this formula this formula gives you the distance traveled by a projectile in the 1 second in the nth second which is denoted by t here but as you can see in the question the 19 meters we are given is not in the last one second it is in the last half second so this formula will not apply here so what so what we can do here is we can find out a different formula that is going to apply here for half a second distance traveled in half a second so this is another equation that you can derive uh it's not as advisable to do this in the exam i i'm just doing this to explain a concept uh of all the possible things you could be doing now let's look at uh, what happens if we substitute our values here we can do 19 equals to 1 by 2 into g into t minus 1 by 4 once again we get another equation with two unknowns and what we will try to do what usually people would try to do is use one of these three equations two of these three equations and try to put the value of t or g from one into the other and try to solve it solve the equations by the method of substitution 
and that is going to you can already see this two is going to go here and this is going to become 38 and this is 1 by 4 and this calculation does not seem very easy and the quadratic equation that you're going to get from here going to is going to take a lot of time so now let's finally see how to solve this question in an easier way so at the beginning I said that 181 here should give you an idea on what you what you should be trying to do so let's look at this these two equations again there's no need to use these equations now these two equations we can see what is 100 100 is nothing but 10 square 81 here is 9 squared we have 1 by 2 G and 1 by 2 G common in both these equations and then we the rest of the term is squared in both these equations so instead of using the method of, method of substitution what we can do here is simply divide these equations because that is going to eliminate one of the variables which is g and we're going to be left with t uh, and then we can find the value of t very easily without any long calculations so we can write this as 10 square over 9 square equals t square upon t minus 1 by 2 whole square so both the LHS and RHS are now have squares so we can just take the under root and arrive at 10 by 9 equal to plus or minus t over t minus 1 by 2 now once we get to this point we can either use the plus for a solution or the negative but uh, if you take the negative sign here it's going to give some absurd solution of of time so we're going to just stick uh, we you can try this at home uh, take the negative sign here and solve this equation and then see what value of t you will get so now we take plus here and we cross multiply and this is going to give us t equals five seconds you can see how how much easier this method is compared to solving a quadratic equation uh, using b square minus 4ac plus minus minus b upon 2a so now that we have time we can just simply substitute time in this equation to get the acceleration due to gravity that is going to be 100 equal to 1 by 2 into g into 5 square g equal to 100 into 2 over 25 which is going to be 8 meter per second square which is going to be our answer so and this approach is going to take you only two or three minutes at max it's it just has to click to you here that going by the first principle and starting uh, just looking at the equation and uh, just clicking in your head okay I, it is much easier if I divide these equations rather than trying to solve them by substitution or elimination or adding them together so it's a uh, so that's it uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one hello students this is another numerical uh, the water drops are falling from a nozzle of a shower onto the floor from a height of 9.8 meter the drop falls at regular interval of time when the first drop strikes the ground this first drop at that instant the third drop is about to fall and uh, locate the position of second drop from the floor when the first drop strikes the ground it says this is the first drop this is third drop this is second drop so when the uh, this uh, first drop strikes the ground third drop is about to fall this distance is 9.8 meter and we have to locate the position of the second drop from the ground not from the top that is to be remembered so it's very simple like initial velocity is zero we take s1 in time t suppose this time is t so this time will be 2t because intervals are regular double of, of the interval so this time is t s1 ut plus half at square u is 0 so it becomes half at square 
we can substitute a or otherwise no need uh, half minus 9.8 t square no need to calculate again as to u into 2t uh, simply substitute 2t instead of t so that comes this equation now what we do simple divide this take s1 by s2 so it becomes 1 by 4 divide these two all cancel out so f1 is s1 is s1 by s2 1 by 4 so that means s1 is equal to s2 by 4 9.8 by 4 so 4.9 by 2 that means 2.45 meter but this is 2.45 meter so what will be s2 minus s1 so s2 minus s1 will be 9.8 minus 2.45 meter 7.35 meter so this is the answer thank you